You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back to CES Live. I'm Scott Ellis. I'm Callie Lewis. Why aren't you dancing? I don't dance. Wow. <laughs> I well, think you would dance while. if you saw something really cool. I might. I might boogie a little bit. Have you not seen something really cool? I've seen cool a lot so of really far? cool things actually. I'm a little overwhelmed right now. You're a little overwhelmed, so that's your excuse for yeah. not dancing. That works, right guys? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe nuance can get you dancing. Let's find out. Josh, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. <laughs> How you doing? Good, good. Good. So you uh, you guys have a new app. Um, well, is it new? Is it just being announced today? So it's a prototype that I'm going to show you in a little prototype. bit here, okay. and it's uh, about consumer health and uh, the interaction of uh, humans speaking to technology. That's where we are at the forefront of that. Okay. Uh, Nuance Communications powers a lot of the voice interactions that users uh, experience all day long, and you may not even know it. So um, you know, we support wearables. Like wearables, uh, for one, smartphones, tablets, televisions, in the car. Uh, home appliances, uh, healthcare, medicine, enterprise support, call systems across wow. the board. Okay. Yep. Wow. So we are reliant on you day in and day out. Uh, more and more. <laughs> yes. Nice. It's a good place to be if you're in business. We enjoy yes, it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. So, so what you have in your hands is a watch, but what we're really focused on is the app behind the watch and right. the technology behind the watch. Yep. And so to tee it up, um, you know, with wearables especially, and this is a Samsung uh, Galaxy S, or a Gear S, Gear. I should say. <laughs> and, um, you know, with a wearable, especially with a small screen, it's very hard, difficult to type into. And so it's a perfect use case for speaking to technology. Um, and specifically for an individual uh, that's uh, really cognizant about health and quantified self is a big theme. Uh, and we're seeing two this year, connected drive and connected health, uh, consumer health. So this application, this prototype that we put together, um, it does three things. You can actually say things like, uh, I took a run this morning at 7 a.m. for an hour. Uh, or you can say, I went for a hike, or I, I, I took a swim. And it will guide you through uh, questions and then calculate the, the, the stats for you um, and, and give you the results. You can track your, your uh, fitness. You can track your workouts, your routines. Wait, okay, so back up, sorry. Yep. So it's going to work in conjunction with the tracking, so, or, or is it completely yep. separate? So it can, it can pull in the data on the device to know how many steps you've taken, uh, okay. your, your heart rate, all, all that sort so, of stuff. So the activity tracker is essentially tracking all the steps and the calories burned and everything, yep. and then when you talk to the app, it, you say, I took a run, Hey, by the way, it was really good. It's going to come back and calculate all that information. Exactly. And and uh, tied into a really quantified health. So you want to make sure that uh, um, you've got the best uh, best health you, you can and be at your peak performance. Right. Is the acti activity tracker actually a part of the app? Is it all uh, not intertwined? <laughs> so that this particular prototype is really just to show um, three different functions. Um, okay. And now let me show you the second one. The second one is really about um, recording your meals. So making sure that you can say something like, I had a, a turkey sandwich with, with avocado and a bag of chips. And we'll go out, it'll find the calories, bring that back and actually log your meals. Oh, very good. So um, you know, it's the evolution of, of human interaction with technology. Before you would probably type in your meal, uh, type in you know, what you ate or forget it entirely. Now we make it very easy for a user to just say what they've eaten, and it, it will record it. I like that because I've, I've used, um, obviously it's my job, right? I've used all of these apps that log food and log yeah. all this, this data. Yep. And I lose interest after a little while each and every time because it's a pain. It is, you have to open up, you know, take out your phone, open up an app, navigate through the services, and then decide how you're going to enter it in. And uh, the rigidity of some of these application services keeps you from really doing it in a very normal human way. And so that's where, what we're all about. It's well, and I can even see, okay, so let's pretend because Scott and I are in a very regimented fitness uh, schedule and, and diet and stuff. <clears throat> But I can imagine if last night at an event I had a <laughs> chocolate dessert of some sort, I might admit to my watch a little bit more easily if I could say, watch, I had a chocolate dessert. 
instead of having to like type that in, find something that was equal to it, right? Yeah. I can see that working a lot better. What? <laughs> We're not talking about the five helpings of macaroni and cheese right now. Or the chocolate dessert <laughs> that you may or may not have had. <laughs> or vodka I may or may not have tried to keep <laughs> you from eating. We're at CES, so you know alcohol generally <laughs> yeah. comes into play. Yes. And, one, and one of the things this does as well is you can remind yourself to take your medications the next morning. Yes. So if you're to say things, remind me to take my Tylenol oh, at 8 a.m. I like it. It'll do that. Yes. You can actually, you know, make sure you're compliant. You can tap on confirmed I've taken it, and then it'll tell you, you know, track how many how successful okay. you are taking your your Tylenol after a, cool. a night out. And so describe again. Uh, so how do I know that I'm using your technology or, or that, that that voice control is? Is it in pretty much everything out there? Or it's in a lot. It's in a lot of products. Um, you know, mm -hmm. Samsung's a huge partner of ours, okay. uh, and uh, there's there's others out there. Uh, you know, a lot of automobile uh, companies use our services. A lot of OEMs, uh, you know, hardware and, and software alike. So okay. nuance is really really kind of everywhere you're you're uh, using voice to interact. Love Very it. Very cool. What's the future? Where where's it going? We have to wait and see. Oh come on. Oh. Nothing you can kind of clue us in on a little Secrets? bit? Secrets? It's just between us. It's just oh, the three of that's us right. right now. Well, we can talk about it later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Okay. We tried. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank that, you. I, I always like hearing about the, the stuff behind the scenes. And yeah, I do too. And what's making it work. Because we're all geeks here, right? So. And it's that, interesting it. because there are a lot of companies making a lot of stuff that go into the devices that we use every day. And exactly. Don't always get to know who's behind it. Cool. Well, you guys keep your screens focused on kp.tv slash CES Live because we have a ton more coverage coming up today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day. How many days are we here? No, that's it. And then we're going home. Then we're going home. Yeah, that's, that's like a year from now, so <laughs> we'll be around. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Scott and I are uh, heading off stage. We're actually going to go hit the show floor and see what else we can find. John and Miriam are joining oh, us up right. next. So stay tuned, short break. Bye. See you guys. <laughs>